I'm with Andrew Nikiforic, author of Tar Sands and... Dirty Oil and the Future of Our Continent. And the Future of Our Continent. And you just gave a presentation about how Alberta is a petrostate. Can you define petrostate, please? Uh, a petrostate is a, a nation or a jurisdiction that is highly dependent on oil revenue. Um, in other words, uh, more than 20% of a government's income comes from, from oil. Uh, and Alberta is a perfect example of, of a petro state. Uh, it receives about 30 to 32 percent of its revenue all comes directly from oil and gas royalties. And what is the effect of having so much revenue come from uh, the oil industry? Well, it, it corrodes and erodes democracy over time and it breaks the very powerful relationship between taxation and representation. Um, there is no representation without taxation. And so when your government starts running on petrodollars as opposed to taxes, your government at the end of the day will be uh, more responsive to the development of that resource and to oil and gas developers than it will be to its own citizens. And this is a divorce that happens in almost every petro state that doesn't um, um, that, 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 that can't resist the temptation to run on petrodollars. What are some other petro states? Well, Texas is a petro state, Louisiana is a petro state, Wyoming is a petro state, Alaska is a petro state. Um, the, uh, most of the Middle East are petro states. Uh, many uh, new uh, countries in, in the center of Africa are petro states. Russia is a petro state. Uh, when the North Sea uh, oil was flowing in the 1970s, uh, even England was a petrostate. And do petrostates have certain characteristics politically? Uh, politically, they tend to be extremely dysfunctional. Um, and because they've... the, the